Creation of underground parking. The most immediate way to generate the underground parking is by assigning a basement layer containing a closed polyline, imported from a DWG or DXF file. After loading the file and assigning the corresponding layer, we must navigate to the th below grade level, and the AI will automatically propose a resolution for the parking. An alternative to importing files is to create the outer perimeter ourselves using the appropriate tool. The proposal offered by the platform will not be complete until the user draws the vehicle access and, if desired, defines storage spaces such as storage rooms or utility rooms. To do this, there is a menu located in the upper right part of the central window, where we can differentiate between surface and linear elements. As explained earlier with above grade building editing, we can make modifications using only the mouse. By dragging the nodes and axes of the perimeter walls, we can increase or decrease the parking area. There are two types of storage rooms, storage rooms, created collectively or in batches, and mechanical, created individually. In both cases, the user must ensure that the polyline is closed correctly. There are two types of ramps, the access ramp, to connect the ground floor of the project with the first basement level, and the interior ramp, to connect the different basement levels to each other. To incorporate them, we must draw their axis on the lower floor, and after processing, it will be drawn on both basement floors. And finally, the traffic lanes. Although these are generated automatically like the parking spaces, the user can edit them and add new ones to adapt the design to the project's actual needs. To do this, with the Lane tool, we must draw their axis. Manual editing of elements is not enabled in the to below grade levels, however, we have numerous sliders in the input panel to adjust our project to the desired design. Mainly, we find configurable options classified into two types, design or distribution, such as the type of basement perimeter, and sizing, which includes options such as the number of basement floors or minimum dimensions of the different basement elements. The most notable ones are, number of basement floors, to indicate the number of floors below grade. Type of basement perimeter, to define if the perimeter is formed by lanes, storage rooms, battery parking, or battery parking and storage room. Structural span, to indicate the span between pillars in the direction of the load. Column thickness in X and Y, to configure the dimensions of the pillars. And parking aisle width, to indicate the width of the interior traffic lanes. We encourage you to continue watching the next video to learn more about our platform.